Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you an awesome plugin called Gravity Forms. Gravity Forms is beyond just a simple contact form plugin. If all you need is a contact form, there are plenty of options out there for you to choose from. But if you need something more than that, Gravity Forms is really the only way to go. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to install Gravity Forms and then we'll get started on creating a form. To install Gravity Forms, it's really easy. All you're going to do is go to Plugins and Add New and you're going to upload. Browse for the zip file and install it and once you have it installed you'll have a new menu on the left called Forms. Click on it and go down to Settings and make sure you have your key saved. After that we're ready to start making forms. Go over here and click New Form. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our form. Click on this text, this box with drop down. This is actually your form settings. In the title, we're going to call this Photo Contest Form. We're going to make a photo contest form. Click Advanced. Um, let's skip most of these options. Come down here. One of the cool things about Gravity Forms is that you're actually able to limit the number of entries you get. So, say after 100 entries, we don't want to receive any more submissions. Another great thing about Gravity Forms is that you can actually decide when you want the forms to be available. So essentially a start date and end date of the photo contest. So we're going to set our start date to December 11th and we're going to have it end at the end of the month. Okay, so our form is pretty much set up and now we're going to actually start adding fields. If you look over here on the right, you'll see four different types of fields you can add. You have your standard fields, which is your basic drop-down, radio buttons, paragraph text. You have advanced fields, which actually require validation. So they're going to have to enter in a proper email address or a proper phone number. Post fields are a great feature of Gravity Forms. They actually allow users to submit content. So, for example, we're going to be using images. And you can also have people submit, say you wanted a guest writer, you could have people submit blog posts. Pricing fields have to do with e-commerce. You have fields that can actually calculate product totals and prices. So let's go ahead and actually start adding fields to our form. To do that all you have to do is click these buttons here on the right. So we're going to go ahead and add in a name field first. And let's do an email and phone number. And if you click on these fields you'll be able to configure the options. At the bottom here, you can click Required, so now they're required to type their name in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that for email address as well, Required. And I don't want any duplicate emails. Another great feature of Gravity Forms is that you can actually click these and just drag them and drop them and move them around to your liking. So, that's pretty cool. So we've got the basic fields down. Let's go ahead and add an image field so they can upload their picture. We'll have them be required to add a title, a caption, and a description. And this is going to be a required field. And I'm going to show you another really great feature of Gravity Forms. We're going to add a drop down that's actually going to have conditional logic applied to it. What conditional logic does is it dynamically displays or hides a field based on the input of another field. So go to the advanced tab of this field, scroll to the bottom, and click enable conditional logic. So now that we have this checked, we're going to add another field to determine whether this one is shown or not. Let's go ahead and use radio button and let's open that up and let's name this Is This Image Yours? You can actually delete choices or add them right here, so we're going to delete one of them. We give them two choices, a yes and a no. And then let's go back to the other drop down field we just made. And let's name this one, let's just call it type. Black slash white color sepia. Go back to the advanced tab. Under conditional logic, select is this image yours? 
and only if their answer is yes will this field be displayed. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to add multi-page. Multi-page is a new feature of Gravity Forms that allows you to separate fields on different pages. It's really great for user experience, especially when you have long forms. To create multi-pages, all you have to do is click Page Break, and as you can see, it adds these sections to the top and the bottom. Anything between the start paging and page break will be the first page. Anything between page break and end paging will be the second page. I'm going to go ahead and move some of these fields down to the second page. Let's leave all the basic fields at the, on the first page. I'm going to go ahead and add another page break. And then let's add some fields on the last page. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that form. We're going to go over here and click Save Form. You're going to get a little dialog box. Go ahead and click Continue Editing This Form. I want to show you something real quick. At the top, you'll see some new buttons that were previously disabled. Notifications is for receiving an email when a user submits a form. Entries is for reviewing submissions. And Preview lets you preview your form. So last, let's add our form to a post. Go to Post, Add New. You're going to see this button, this new button right here. Add Gravity Form, click it. Select Photo Contest Form, Insert Form. Let's go ahead and name this post. Click Publish. Now I'm going to head over to my blog and refresh. And there you go, there's our form. As you can see, there's a progress bar right here. That's a pretty neat feature. Let's go ahead and fill this out. This is actually the first page of our form. If you fill out the information on the first page correctly, you'll be taken to the second page. And right here on the bottom here, this is the conditional logic fields that we set. Yes, and so there you go. You clicked yes, and the next field popped up. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this brief run through of Gravity Forms and its special features. Next time I'll be going over Gravity Forms advanced marketing add-ons. Thanks for watching. Visit the totalbounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.